Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. This week, I'm going to have another conversation with Marilyn Monroe, and we are going to discuss the topic of spirit guides. I have interviewed several different afterlife guests and talked about this very topic. I thought, let's chat with Marilyn Monroe about spirit guides. So Marilyn, what do you have to share with us about spirit guides? I would like to know, well, first of all, I would like to know if you as a human, when you were a person, were you aware that there was such a thing as spirit guides? Like when you were a little girl, I mean, I know you had a lot of um, challenges, let's say struggling early on with family and, and foster homes and orphanage and all of that. So did you know that you had a spirit guide? She says, I would say that I knew, yes, I was aware of that, but that wasn't something you talked about. That was crazy. That would make people think that you were crazy and my mother was crazy. And so I did not, um, I was very careful about what I shared about that. But yes, I was aware. I felt like there was something special that I would be, that I had someone special looking out for me and that I would be okay, that I would be safe, and that I would be able to really be happy eventually for my life. And for, most, for the most part, I was happy because, you know, I didn't really know the difference of what else life could be. Oh, sure, I saw other children and things, but most of the children that I was around weren't really in so much better circumstances than I, at least I couldn't compare that. I wouldn't have really known any differently. Although I did wish for different. Uh, I did, I did, I dreamed of something different. But as far as a name or something like that, silly, I don't have that. I did have a doll that I really liked, but I lost her at one point in one of the moves. She was sort of like a spirit guide, I guess you could say. But most children have that, don't they? Like stuffed animals and things that they love. But I know that's not what you mean. Yes, that's not what I mean. I guess you could say I sort of did. Um, but it's different than what, you, than what you're thinking, she says. All right, it is really tough. I can hear her whisper. Her whisper is just comes through really easily in my throat chakra, but I hope that the audio works. Let's continue, Marilyn. All right, she says. <laughs> She's so sweet. She, got, she definitely has a sparkle about her. She says, oh, thank you. So do you, she says. So do you. <laughs> thank you. All right. What a smile. Oh my. Hmm, dazzling. Mm -hmm. So as an afterlife spirit, can you share with us, please, please share with us, talk to us about what is a spirit guide? How would you explain that to me if I didn't know what it was? Because she's going to say, you know what it is. <laughs> All right. I would say it's anything that is close to God, that is bigger than you are, that can lift you right up when you need to be reminded of how incredibly wonderful that you are. It is definitely something that would inspire you to be a better person, to get to know yourself better, and perhaps to be more active in your world. You would use the word engaged, Bridget. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I would. All right. So do you believe in spirit guides? Well, that's a silly question. Of course I do. And the part of the reason why there is such a need or such a thing is because of you, you in a body as a person, because in a human body, you get very, very confused. And I myself got very, very confused and also frustrated, very frustrated and quite irritable, actually rather irritable. And all of these things must be cleaned up, this mess that we are at times. 
we can be, that life can be very, very messy. A spirit guide can help to keep things together and to keep you on track, to keep you moving in the right direction of your dreams, the things that you most desire. I believe that the spirit guide definitely helps you with that. Your purpose and the thing are the things that you are passionate about. And when you forget that, your spirit guide is there to remind you. But sometimes it reminds you in ways that you can't really hear or you're not able to hear at that time. And so I would say it definitely is more of a whisper and not so much of a screaming or a yelling out loud. But in the moments when you're sobbing and your head is on the floor and you just cannot go on any longer, a spirit guide will come to try to talk you out of any silliness or craziness that you might be thinking in your head. To not waste the life of the gift of the life that you have. That is very important. That is the job of the spirit guide to remind you. She says to remind you why you are a person in the first place. After all, that is very important. It is a very important job to be a person. It's a very important job, although not very dignified at times. Yes, I would agree with that. But mostly it is for you to learn compassion. And in order to learn the compassion, what that really means, what it really is, you must experience that in a body to be compassionate with your body, to understand the crazy feelings that you have, the, the eruptions like a volcano inside of you, you must allow yourself to be able to be compassionate, to cool those flames, to allow yourself to be soothed and held. And it is, as Bridget would say, angelic, working with angels and such is quite pleasant, I would say. I would highly recommend that. And spirit guides can be angels or animals or anything, anything at all that you like, that you could relate to, that you could possibly relate to. You might be surprised, even a fictional character could certainly show up as a spirit guide for you. But it really does mean that God simply is transforming, morphing into some different character so that you and your mind can accept that and understand what is, what they are trying to help you with, to help you understand that you already know and in that knowing, it's simply a process to remember and your spirit guide can help you do that and sometimes it requires the mind to be included. Definitely not to leave out the mind. That would not be very helpful in a human life experience. After all, that would not be a good thing. I would not recommend that. To leave the mind out, you wouldn't recommend that? Oh no, certainly not. That would just be silliness. That, now that would be crazy making. <laughs> hmm. Marilyn, you're so, you have such a sweet personality. I just enjoy talking to you as I've been getting to know you over the course of, of this time that we've been spending together. And so I'm curious about spirit guide for you. Are you a spirit guide? Are you a spirit guide? And do you know other famous afterlife people that used to be people like celebrities, former people that are spirit guides? Do you know that? Like, is that a role you can play or how does that work? I like the words you use, role. Is that a role I play? Well, I'm not acting. Certainly, I'm not acting at all. It's quite sincere. I definitely bring in an energy, as you would say in your words, of compassion. That is true. And the divine feminine in a way that is much more lighter hearted and it's truly to allow women in particular to understand themselves more to accept themselves more, to recognize and relish in the beautiful glow that that beautiful energy of woman is and what that really means. That we are not a product, an outcome of what has been done to us or the experiences or circumstances that we found ourselves in, but much more. We are so much more than that. We always transcend, in your big words, <laughs> transcend the reality of what we have suffered or what has been deemed upon us by others who are in power. There's such a sweet power 
in that compassionate, fierce, loving energy for yourself and really believing in yourself. That is the ultimate compassion. So if I, as a spirit guide for you, that is what I would bring forward. I would consider myself a bit of a teacher, yes. See, Bridget is talking to her, to, uh, talking to me in my mind right now. Oh boy, I can't. Okay, just a second. I gotta distinguish between her and me because right now it's like it's like I'm both, and it's hard to. I'm asking her questions in my mind, and she's responding to them through my my through my voice. So in my mind, I'm asking. I'm asking questions in my mind. She's coming through in my throat chakra. Wow, crazy. It's easy to do that with you. I can really do that with her. Really, really, very much. You feel like a teacher in, as a spirit guide. Yes, there's so much to learn. So much to learn. The compassionate student becomes the teacher. There's so much to learn about loving ourselves, about really being in love with ourselves, falling in love with ourselves. And for women, I don't understand in, the, in this energy of this, the, the day and age that you are in now, you have so much more information and so much more opportunity. Things that were difficult before are just not as difficult as they were. Now, I do recognize in your world politics and the global things that are occurring that there, it seems like this might not be true, but it's simply just a reckoning, a, a, re, a revival of what really matters to the feminine spirit. And that is part of what Bridget and I have in common. And I would love to be the embodiment of that for anyone, anyone, any of you watching that want to know more about that inside of yourselves. It is through the heart and through the words and through the wisdom of the thoughts that you think, it is every aspect of your human being and it comes from the most beautiful connection with your soul and your spirit deep deep inside of your belly so beautiful like rays of the sun that are beautiful pastel pink glittery glowing iridescent energy coming right out your belly button and out into the world right from you from the source of you. This is where all beauty is. It's inside of you. And isn't that wonderful to know? Isn't it? It simply is. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh, Ms. Marilyn Monroe will bring up the fire of compassion within us. <laughs> mm. So as a spirit guide in the afterlife, Ms. Marilyn Monroe serves as a teacher about self-love and compassion and being a fierce, I'm going to say, advocate for ourselves as feminine women. Yes, compassionate feminine, she says, compassionate feminine. You are so embodied, the goddess of love. <laughs> she's so Aphrodite and yet so, she's got a bit fire, like a pink fire. Pink iridescent fire is what I see to connect with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. Oh, what a beautiful spirit guided energy you are. Oh my. So can everyone, everyone connect to you? Can everyone request to speak to you and, and be around you? Oh, simply yes, oh yes. It is so simple, simple, simple. Just think, think it. Be it. I want to say see it, but that's not what she's saying. Think it, be it. Think it, be it. And it is done. It simply is. It's very, it's very easy, according to Ms. Marilyn. Um, I feel like writing is a very good way to connect with you because of your writing and your interest in writing. Is that accurate? Oh, yes. And you would know that, Miss Bridget, because you have done that. <laughs> Yes, I have. Thanks, Marilyn, for outing me. I just started keeping a journal of my notes with Marilyn when we a conversation, just little, just little bits, and it's just beautiful. And so, 
Yes, she is absolutely 100% right. It's a very effective way to connect with her. Mm -hmm. Most certainly, just start a conversation. Pretend like you're writing her a letter. You've heard me say that before. When you're trying to connect with someone in the afterlife, whether it's your grandmother, a loved one, a friend who has crossed over, or, or an animal or a pet, or somebody famous like a celebrity, remember, they're not out of reach in the afterlife. They're simply one energetic vibration away. That's it. And if you connect in by writing a letter, it opens up a, a, a channel for you. It just opens it up. Just start writing. Just start writing. Anything you want, just start writing. Just try it. That's a wonderful, wonderful suggestion. Thank you, Marilyn, for that. Thank you very, very much for that. And thank you for watching this interesting afterlife conversation about spirit guides with Ms. Marilyn Monroe. I hope it will help you to connect with her. I hope that we have inspired your spirit, filled you up with hope. Remember the purpose of all of these afterlife celebrity conversations at Above Life channel here, the purpose of them is so that you, you can live your own life. This right here, right now, is your life. <laughs> so live it. And as Marilyn would say, live it. <laughs> Come on, you guys. I'm feeling the energy vibes, right? Right? Are you? Post your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And share it with someone you know that will get a wonderful smile, that it will warm their heart from watching. Thank you so much for being here.